Weave Waves, Weave Wonders, and the Fantastic Beast free title is at long last upon us, guys. The Secrets of Dumbledore. We no longer have to call it Fantastic Beasts Free. With this overwhelmingly positive news that Warner Brothers dropped uh, yesterday uh, that I did not see coming, I am happier right now than I have been uh, in over a year. Uh, seriously, I uh, knew that uh, the title uh, would uh, revolve around Dumbledore and his family lineage. I called it in my live Q&A, didn't I? And I also recently watched uh, Crimes of Grindelwald again on TV. That's the first time... I've seen the Fantastic Beasts movies uh, ever shown on TV before they just showed Harry Potter, but uh, but that the fact that they showed Crimes of Grindelwald on TV was a uh, message from the universe that uh, something great about Fantastic Beasts three was was coming, and uh, and we get even better news than the title. So we no longer have to wait until July for this movie. It's been pushed forward instead of backwards to April 2022 and that is the smartest decision Warner Brothers could have ever made because it has no competition in spring 2022 it won't have to compete with Black Panther 2 any longer and at perfect timing for my cousin's wedding as for those of you who don't know she's getting married in uh, April uh, next year and me and my sister are attending her wedding and I and her sister's getting married in October before then, so I may vlog that. But anyway, back to uh, the secrets of Dumbledore. Uh, I mean, uh, this uh, third instalment has uh, endured uh, punishment after punishment uh, during its uh, d development and production because uh, the pressure has been uh, beyond stacked on Warner Brothers uh, for uh, the secrets of Dumbledore to be more of a hit than Crimes of Grindelwald was uh, with a script rewrite in 2019. Then tragically uh, Covid happened uh, preventing uh, Secrets of Dumbledore from releasing in uh, 2020 as planned uh, but uh, then with Johnny Depp's uh, departure uh, the movie was then uh, pushed uh, back uh, uh, yet again to July 2022, but now uh, that we know this is the first Wizarding World movie to get a spring release and uh, Dumbledore is uh, going to be in the title, this is going to be the biggest Dumbledore movie in the Wizarding World. Uh, this, this is the positive news that this uh, vastly underrated franchise uh, needs. Uh, uh, it's endured enough negativity and toxicity from the Fantastic Beast haters that just want to bring it down uh, just because they don't like any Wizarding World movie that's not Harry Potter. Uh, I'm not going to let uh, the uh, justice for Johnny Depp people, the uh, J.K. Rowling uh, haters uh, uh, spoil my good mood uh, in the slightest. Uh, this is a fantastic day for us all. This movie looks like it's going to be a uh, uh, epic, a uh, high stakes, a uh, colossal war, and even James Newton Howard, a composer of this franchise, uh, admitted he thought this movie was the best of the three by far. You will even get to see the full brilliance of Elorny Hinks's character, who was hinted at in Crimes of Grindelwald, and I'm uh, most looking forward to seeing what this movie does with Queenie, my favourite of the four protagonists. After will, will she show signs of regret joining Grindelwald, and will she be missing Jacob and? Tina uh, and a huge congrats to Alison Sadul, her actress. Uh, she recently ha had a daughter, which is uh, lovely. Even though it's only been three years uh, since the crimes of Grindelwald, it feels like uh, we have uh, waited uh, 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 forever to uh, get to this movie. Uh, so, uh, Wizarding World of fans, uh, and the hunger for a return uh, to J.K. Rowling's Wonderful World has uh, built up over the course of three years, so Warner Brothers didn't want to keep the fans waiting any longer. This movie is going to be uh, the single greatest Easter gift ever. Can you imagine in our Easter eggs we get uh, tickets uh, to see the secrets of Dumbledore? Uh, wouldn't that uh, be, 
wouldn't be a blessing. This means uh, we'll get uh, the DVD and extended edition uh, on uh, the Blu-ray in uh, September 2022, so, so a year to go until we can own uh, this movie at home on, on the small screen too, and uh, uh, we can expect a, a teaser trader and post and real soon uh, by the looks of it. And this along with uh, 50 slices of bonding, which is a, 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 a bombed a movie that uh, my good friend uh, Mr. Tarlet11 slash Ollie Pajak is making uh, next year. This this is tied with that as my most anticipated movie of uh, 2022 and I hope we get uh, lots of uh, uh, new uh, beasts and uh, uh, locations in the Wizarding World and uh, and more of battles. And Secrets of Dumbledore is pretty close to the title I predicted, Rise of the Dumbledore, although it's uh, probably a little better than Rise because Secrets of Dumbledore makes uh, the viewer intrigued to find out what secrets about Dumbledore are we going to find out. I exactly, so you all know uh, that uh, How to Train Your Dragon 3 and The Lion King are tied as my favourite movie of all time. Well, could this be my new favourite movie of all time? You will find out in uh, seven months from now in my review of The Secrets of Dumbledore. It's like I've gone to heaven, this news is so fucking awesome and I'm sure this movie is going to uh, make uh, 2022 the best year of the uh, 2020s uh, decade of us uh, far uh, by uh, a uh, landslide. Oh well, I love you guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, reaction uh, to uh, the title revelation. What are your thoughts on the title, The Secrets of Dumbledore? Uh, do you adore the title like me, or would you have titled it uh, differently? Uh, please comment and let me know, please like this video and subscribe, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you all next time, and I promise you the next video will be the Skyfall review, and remember, movies are us. Bye guys.